everyone. Welcome to the stream. Oh no. <laughs> I suddenly started talking and it scared Milf over here. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Dead. Anyway, um, assuming Star Trek Online will actually launch, I guess, because now we're just staring at a black screen. Cool. Oh, probably quit responding. Yay! I love that for me. Wow, that's fun. This is fine. My, uh, my stupid, uh, what's, what's it called? The, like, scrolling text was being really stupid also, um, just now, like, on my intro. So, I mean, I should have expected something else to also go wrong, but, you know, I can have hope that for once something will like not go wrong with my stream. Now we all get to look at Geralt from Witcher 2. Beautiful. Now my whole thing just disappeared. Love that for me. Is it still not reporting? Oh, it's gonna it's gonna come up. It's fine. All right. Now we might get the game. <laughs> Cursed. All right, we're getting further than we did last time. So hopefully this will be, it'll be fine. <laughs> Literally so cursed. All right, cool, cool. And my question is why isn't the... Oh, there the desktop, the desktop audio is working. Okay, so I did start a new 23rd century character. Um like recently um so i might do some of her today i need to delete some old ones because i'm replacing i'm replacing my um cursed i made like one of my characters it was a really cursed like um like i made a bunch of really cursed hybrids of like different um idols from idol anime <laughs> um but i wanted to do something different and go for like a different concept and like look and stuff for my um uh, 23rd century character so i'm probably not going to go back to that one i'll probably delete it um but yeah and now i have no more character slots which is fine um but i thought i had one more but maybe i don't i'm not sure that's fine they give them out like all the time anyway so yeah and i need to do more on the discovery one too i haven't gotten anywhere in the discovery story yet so this is fine um, yeah, let's jump right in. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing today, um, but I guess we'll play some 23rd century. I really don't remember where I left off on here. We're going to Babel. Babel? I don't know. I don't really know how you're supposed to say that, but that's okay. I don't know how to say a lot of things. Ugly ass little ship. I do like the cute little, like, retro-theming, like, map in the 23rd century. It's, like, such a vibe. So we, we haven't gotten that far, honestly. Though, here's something I did notice on my, like... This is only my second uh, 23rd century run because I this is only the second character I've made that's 23rd century and will end up probably being my only one because um, I like the 23rd century like aesthetic and stuff um, and the story is like really cute and everything because it's like all these little like Easter eggs um, relating back to the original series but overall it's like not my favorite um, 
for some reasons. I mean, I didn't get super far with the other character, um, but I don't know. It's like, I was like, I kind of just like don't really want multiple ones. I'd rather have like the multiple Federation characters with something like different about them, especially. Um, but yeah. This one is a science officer though, so yeah, I put her in the cute little medical dress because I, I think that the medical dress is cute, but <laughs> anyway, uh, basically though, all the green stars are kind of weirding me out here, but that's okay. Can't really see my ship, but it's fine. Finally. And also, this is like the most slow ship ever, like... I know they're trying to, like, make it all, um, like, just like the original series, so, like, kind of nerfing us a little bit, but, like, you know, not necessary. Really not necessary. All right. I appreciate your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job oh, yeah, and Daniels is here. <laughs> you help as usual. You temporal incursion at K-13. There's been another at Babel, and I could use your help with it. Babel? That's what we're calling it now? Welcome to the temporal She's radio. like, what the fuck? <laughs> monitor the time. The Honestly, this is a funny screenshot moment. In time. We believe they disrupted the Babel oh, I did. <laughs> it's the wrong screenshot. There we go. God. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. I'm sending one of our best temporal agents along. I believe you've met. It's Chekhov! Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking uh, older. Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the not cool and make sure conference proceeds as 23rd century is honestly kind of wholesome though like which will allow me to communicate with you and bring even you with all its like cursed elements like you'll also have the it's kind of cute and wholesome short range like all these like cool like you can really tell they just wanted some good vibes in this um no particular path even though it's still fucking dark like the rest of the <laughs> like the rest of the game is like <laughs> wartime but this is fine situation at Babel shouldn't be happening. Something okay. So we're gonna go to the Enterprise. Oh yeah, look how, look how cute she is. She got her little bun. She kind of looks a little bit like me, but like, I don't know. I always like give my characters purple hair. It's probably like a personal bias, but that's fine. Hey Nova. She's still mad at me because I took her tennis ball away because she fucking ate it. Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time-traveling friends. The computer won't have any details on the Naku, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. Oh, and one more item to okay. be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekhov is <laughs> on duty on the bridge. Dead. Which is why... Let's get to work. I will check with oh, you so again I'm leaving them with... Him. And we're going to the bridge. For some time. It's a little snug. Snug. <laughs> oh, Uhura's just here commanding the bridge. So we've got Uhura here. Um, Hadley, whoever the hell that is. Um, Lieutenant Leslie. Um... Ensign Chekhov. And our queen right here. We love that for her. I feel like I just need like a little like screenshot. Like, where's my... There we go. It's a little moment. We're having a moment here. Don't mind me, just. <laughs> oh, my character looked a weird direction. Oh my god. Stay in one place. Okay. This is fine. Those are probably ugly, but it's fine. 
Ah, fuck. Nice work. I'm getting some readings from deck 11, but I can't. Deck 11, let's go. Who's this? Lieutenant Palmer, okay. Just random characters that they've added in here, which is, is fine with me, you know? Fun. The lighting is literally so nasty and gray here. Just don't mind me. Uh oh. He's not even sitting in the actual chair. Fucking cursed. Vulcan, I would speak to you. It does seem unavoidable. Oh my god. How do you vote on a Corridon in mission? I feel like if they were gonna use old sound clips, they should have just like um, made everybody sound like that, um, to fit the aesthetic, because, like, it's a little jarring when nothing really, like, sounds the same, I guess. Because the new voices obviously don't sound like, um, the ones recorded in the literal 60s. Is there something I can help you with? What? I'm well aware of that. I'm weary of listening to the Tellerite ranting at the Vulcan. I'd like to retire to my quarters. <laughs> He's tired of the arguing. <laughs> of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off. Meet Chekhov in the armory. Oh, so we're going back here? No, hold on. Where are we going? Uh, wrong way. Wrong way. This is fine. This is fine. Looks like they're on the move. But I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Okay. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for Starfleet. Head back toward the reception. Head toward the observation deck. I can see that they're down there. Turn My god. The engineering circuits away from the turbo room. There he is, waiting. That's Ambassador Gav. Oh my god. Shit. Oh, too late. Bruh, what the fuck is he doing? This is wild. I don't even really remember this mission, but like, God. Why can't I fire? God damn it. What's this one? Oh, fun. Earl of Energy. Iconic. Serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Stay. Well, we, so do we just have to like, looks like the captain is stabilized. get rid we of the Nakul? I detected Nakul technology in engineering. Kirk's just here like dead on the ground. <laughs> dead. Where's the turbo lift? Oh, we can go either way. How convenient.
There's a bomb in here. I cannot put user Ikita mains online at the same time. Wait, Chekhov, is that you? You look older than me, laddie. And you, the last time I saw you was at Rosanna Station. <laughs> he remembers and us! A wee bit dodgy now. It's complicated, Scott. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Well, good Aliens thing that Scotty puts his trust in people. <laughs> Usually. No Alright, laddie. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces. And get rid of that bloody bomb, okay. if you can. Okay, work on the bomb. Divert power to the number six shield. Number six shield. There we go. Good work. Now check on that bomb. All right. I got it. I got it. It's gonna be good. Auxiliary power to shield. All right. And so that was this one over here. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Team to deck five. Wrong one. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Nice. <laughs> the captain's ordering me to cut the power. Uh, I see what he's about. What is he about, exactly? Wow, nice. That got him. We can't disarm this bomb, but we need to get to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just beam it into space? We can't let that ship be captured. It has dangerous technology on it. Scott, mm -hmm. I need you to trust well. me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now, so I technically outrank you. <laughs> All right. <I'll> <laughs> he told you. him. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over. All right. Let's go. Good luck to you. Squad. Now, what's this? What the fuck did he just pick up? Bruh. The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security system. So we're fighting Orions and Nakul. Lovely. This hall is too narrow. This is cursed. All right. At least we're hitting him now. that loot. Enforcer. 
Wow, he got grenades. Fuck. Now we have to defend Chekhov from what exactly? I'm going to try to attach the bomb to the Russian <clears throat> ship's engine controls. Okay. They're gonna be down the hallway. There we go. Ah, fuck. Get him. y'all. Wow. Fucking hit me. Beam us up, Daniels. I made my character so tall. My god. There we go. Fun. Good times. That's suspicious. I'm glad I got you out of there in time. You're both valuable agents. Of course, <laughs> no one will know what you've done. That being said, this won't Except be the strangest you. thing he'll see in his that career. Said, Not by a long shot. <laughs> comes with the job, I'm <sighs> in the meantime, I can send you and Captain Chekhov back to your respective timelines. That was quite an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties. Ah, but you don't need to worry about that God. Now. Enjoy your time. Could have gone wrong today. We could have lost critical figures in history. Sarah, all right, Hogan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. I'm thinking I want the Tellarite tactical However, officer. Timeline was congratulations, Lieutenant. Right, yeah, let's join now. Nice, nice. Things are heating Monitor stations are detecting large fleet movements. Oh, I was going to, I was going to mention all of our diplomatic. Um. I was complaining last time about how um, Vic Mignogna was voicing um, certain characters. The shouldn't be having significant issues with the Tholians at this point in time. I've been scanning the... Okay. You gotta go to unsurveyed territory. The incident in question. Setting temporal transponder back two years. We need to correct the timeline during the Defiance encounter with the Tholians. Okay. So, anyway, like I was saying, while we... <laughs> have this cursed long ass journey to the um unsurveyed territory but um i was complaining like a couple streams ago um something about vic mignana still voicing uh characters in star trek online when you know he's been accused of a lot of stuff and just you know it's not really a vibe um but uh they actually replaced him pretty recently um on basically everything. I looked it up and they replaced both characters he voiced, um, cause he voiced, um, Admiral slash Captain Garrett. Um, he's Admiral now, but he starts as Captain. Um, so he voiced that guy and then he also voiced, like, a Vulcan guy in something and they apparently did replace him in that too. Um, so yeah, like, as of this year, like, as of now, he's no longer in Star Trek Online at all, which I'm sorry, good choice there. Good on them. Like, it was kind of, they were kind of quiet about it. But, um, yeah, it seems that, um, they finally decided, like, to be like everybody else and just drop his ass, which is really funny to me. Because, honestly, deserved it. You know, don't fuck around and find out if, like, <laughs> 
Don't, like, fuck around and find out if you don't want it to hurt your career, I guess, you know? <laughs> oh, Nova's back in her little spot. You can see her in the corner. Right here. <laughs> she loves to- she loves to snuggle with the big bear. Um, it's so funny. When I switch rooms, I'm, like, thinking I want to put my bed in, like, the center, kind of? Um, and put things, like, on the side of it. But I'm not- I'm not sure, like, how, um, everything's going to work, but I want, like, I want to do it that way, but, um, I'm gonna have to find a way to keep the bear on my bag, because Nova likes it. I was going to put it as, like, a prop in my, um, future, like, photo studio slash office, but now it's, like, it's gonna have to be somewhere where Nova can snuggle with it all the time. <laughs> Alrighty then. These early missions are so short too, like, I feel like we barely get any time in the 23rd century. Fuck. Unplugged my shit again. It's fine. Yay! Tangled webs. Let's go. We've arrived in 2268 and not a moment too soon. The All right. We're being hailed by the Defiant. I'll remind you that our orders forbid us from telling them anything specific about the situation. Good to see you. Deflect their questions. The Tholians were taking a serious beating when we reached the system. And the other ships opened fire on us the minute we dropped out of warp. Mind lending us a hand until we figure out what's going on? This, this was holy, holy fucking shit! The Nakul just want to fuck everything up. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just have to kill them. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a yikes from me. Kill them all. Nice little tractor beam. Nice. Ooh, I hate the Tamosh Destroyer. <laughs> Vengeance for the children. Look, for once I'm on board with the Tholians. I'm on the side of the Tholians, even though they kinda they kinda suck in the future. Right now they're just vibing. Like, this is the Nicole's fault, 100 percent Come on. There we go. Nice. Oh, fuck. Okay, we need... <laughs> we need to get some torpedoes going here, or this is gonna not... I hate, like, this little tiny-ass stupid ship so much. Why is it cloaking? Fuck. I 
Oh my god, there's more of them. So wait for the Defiant to repair. There they go. There they go. It's fine. Fuck. They are not making this easy for us. That, that was a solid hit. Could have been worse from our tiny, useless little ship. Is the other frigate gone too? Hopefully. my front shield here. There we go. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Now we gotta go explain ourselves, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. It <laughs> does my little boarding party dance. <laughs> I found appropriate Cursed, transport coordinates on the Tholian flagship. Fucking EV suit. All right, let's distribute them. Very cursed. Very cursed. Vogue. Oh, I have to activate it. I forgot. Oh. I see what we're doing here. God damn it. Alright. They're really just here to fuck our shit up, aren't they? What are we looking at? I see, okay. 
So we gotta go down. Damn, okay. Where's the final console? There we go. Energy readings on the flagship are returning to normal. Whatever you did worked. Wow. Fuck off. This is fine. I'll just help myself to the loot. We've stopped the ship from detonating, but they're not cool. They it's the Tholian Queen! We won't let you down. We're so nice to the Tholians that try to kill us sometimes. <laughs> I've been monitoring the Tholian Queen's progress. She hasn't been able to send the signal to her people. Okay, let's have a little chat. What's the situation here? Where did those alien ships come from? And I don't need to know, right? I read you, but it doesn't mean I have to like Dead. it. Here they come. The thing, too, is he hasn't even questioned, like, our registry or anything else. And we're, like, from what, two years in the future? Fucking wild. EV suit like portraits here. What a mood.
Oh fuck, I am not a fan of dreadnoughts at all. Fucking die. blow up right next to that one. Oh, that would be so satisfying. Nope, not gonna happen. Sure, I thought their shield was down, but it wasn't. the event task force operation no i'm not i'm just playing um i'm just playing the 23rd century story we're fighting the nakul not the folians starter ship, so it really sucks right now. <laughs> and there's about to be a dreadnought. There's a dreadnought coming, so... More ships inbound to our location. Literally, fuck this. <laughs> the alien dreadnought is concentrating fire on the Tholian flagship. Oh, so we can't even fight the dreadnought? the hell? God. We are dying out here. obnoxious ass ones first, probably. I never have my torpedoes ready when, like, their shields go down. Such a golden opportunity. 23rd century escort versus 29th century destroyer. <laughs> Dreadnought! Literally! Like, what is going on here? <laughs> How are we supposed to win this? Like, I'm dying. I haven't died yet. I haven't died yet during this particular fight. I've actually died very little this particular story run. Um, so, yeah.
Oh god. I don't know how I'm still alive. I need more torpedoes. Uh, no, I'm playing science officer. There we go, there we go, okay. Finally! <laughs> I'm replacing my other, um... I'm basically, um, like... The Queen's message has been yeah. sent through subspace and... Yes! The timeline's correcting itself. Good work. Now, we just need to help with... Uh... What's going on? Defiant? Why a green? No. I'm afraid that this is their fate. This is one of the hardest things about being a temporal agent. Wait, so like their destruction just doesn't fucking matter? I'm afraid there's not. History states that the Oh, so it went missing. Found here weeks later by the Enterprise. Though they're lost, we now know that they the Tholians will remember this as well. This encounter may lead them to be more inward-focused, avoiding conflicts with the Federation. Well... Alright. I need to ban the bot. I don't want bots in my fucking chat. Literally, goodbye. Nice commentary, though, on that, you know. Captain Archer had similar concerns when I worked here. We often disagreed, but in the end, we were able to- All right, so let's- Finally, we're getting slightly better weapons, I think. The Klingons are massing a battle. Stay safe out there. This is a I like moment in Federation history. I like this voice like a Not million times better than Vic Mignogna too, cause like the of time. he actually sounds like we'll need to I don't know he has authority. Flux. If they show up, we'll need to deal with them, no matter what. Yee. Oh, that's a deflector. Oh, wait, where do we want? Oh, that's a. I thought that was a torpedo launcher for a second, but that's a console. And this is. a better warp core. Nice. I'm not gonna go for the dual beams yet. Should add that wannabe come famous line into the prohibited words in the auto mod. Honestly, that's a good idea. I probably should do that. I mean, I already have a whole list of stuff in there anyway that's just like. Because I'm tired of people coming into my chat and like complaining about specific things. I'm over here like. Alright, you know. Expose yourself as a dumbass in my chat, like, cool. <laughs> but the problem is it's like I can never, like, ban everybody that, like, says stupid stuff, unfortunately. Which is very unfortunate at times. Oh, that's not a sh- that's a shield, not a fucking- Wow. Nice job, me. Oh, they've all got like 
trash level shields. I've got a net decent shield, so okay. I know some of these others also had body armor. Discard the standard issue shit. I don't know if we're gonna need those EB suits again. Probably not, but. And why in the hell can't I stack my small hypos? Like, this is stupid. But whatever. Maybe give them some different weapons. Could be fun. Cryptic wants you to buy inventory slots, that's why. <laughs> Look, you're right though. Cryptic already wants me to buy um, more uh, character slots too. Because I'm like, <laughs> out of them now. <laughs> Boost those phasers. Yeah, that's what I was just um, thinking about too. I was like, they always are giving us more anyways, so it's like fine. <laughs> I'm the commanding officer also, I'll be deleting my other our long -range um, platform have 23rd century character because I'm basically just replacing her. I'm not that far on her, and I really just wanted a different energy. aesthetic, so. Disrupt communication. We have the Klingons outnumbered at this time. Okay. I also, like, um, was not, like, super attached to my choices as far as, like, bridge officers and stuff. Oh, fuck. The tractor beam looks so weird. Like, <laughs> what's going on? Nice, hit him right in the back as they're running away. turn faster than the Klingon. Nice, nice. That's what I wanted. All I needed from this battle. Satisfying. I always love hitting him with the high yield. It's nice. Nice. Klingon formation is breaking. All ships, keep chasing. 
23rd century space battles in sector space definitely looks better than 24th century equivalent. Look, you're not wrong. Because honestly, it's like, you know, they went for like a defined aesthetic. I feel like they just tried to go so like, I don't know, like basic and like sleek modern with the 24th century aesthetic. It's just boring now, you know? I don't know. Where's everybody else? I thought we were chasing them. Oh my god, there's more. zero percent and not exploding finally secondary shielding maybe I don't know I better get away from here before that thing blows up. <laughs> this is fine. You know, for Klingons, they're sure trying to run away from this battle. Why is no one sitting in their chairs? Like, they're like halfway inside the chair. <laughs> Well, fuck. We're in some trouble. Yikes. The mighty Federation has been brought to heel at last by the Klingon Empire. Those who remain shall know we Klingons can be gracious in victory. Though I'm Bruh. a temporal anomaly from one of the Klingon ships. It's consistent with readings we've seen of Greek. Leave that to me. I'll modify the transporter and beam you over. It's like there's not much we can do when we're in a tractor beam, like literally cursed. <sighs> Okay. Oh, I need to do the House United stuff too. Um, like the new update. Eh, eventually.
Okay, how do we get out of here? Yeah, it's part of the event. Die. There's a TFO and two missions, but I think one of the missions is broken. Why do why do we keep getting broken missions? I mean I feel like sometimes um sometimes they glitch out so they're not like broken for everybody, but still I feel like it happens way more than it should. Yeah, y'all funny. Top-notch content and SDO. Oh, you redid it. I see. Cut it open. Yee. Anyway, um... Is that supposed to be sarcasm or, like, is it actually good? Because I never know... <laughs> Kept bugging on boarding beta. I don't know. I haven't played it yet, so it's like I'll have to do it eventually. But I don't know. Maybe I don't want to play it if it's fucking broken. <laughs> Sabotage charge. I cannot speak today. I'm having such a hard time. <laughs> Dead. Anyway, alright. Slight sarcasm. Depends on how you look at it. Uh, TBH, what you play now is one of my fave times in this game. Oh, okay. Um, I thought you were talking about, like, the new mission, and I was like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, I actually was just talking about how I think that the, um... Oh, thank you for following! Um, I, I was just, like, uh, talking about how I think the 23rd century storyline is, like, somehow, like, way more wholesome than the rest of the game. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, where do we go now? Okay, this way. I left too soon. You need to finish them now. All of them. You don't understand. How dangerous they are. Bruh. I don't need to do anything. Do not forget who is captain here and who is merely a visitor. I've given you the means to victory. I suggest you use them. I like I like some of the new missions, but not like um I warned you. I know, I've liked some of the mission updates, like what they did with Grethor. I really liked that update in particular. Um, but I did not like the original Grethor that much at all. Um, I found it tedious and obnoxious. Um, I've been playing, I think I went back and looked, like, my account was created around 2012, 2013, I think. Um, but, like, I sucked at it for, like, a long-ass time. And so now I've only, like, um... Bold or not, you remain insects. I mean, I was also, like... <laughs> For we both fucking um like 15 and i've played it like on and off um since then so like for a while i didn't like seriously play it but i i feel like also um i would like uh fuck ah fuck damn it 
And see, and I still, like, super suck at ground combat. Like, consistently. But, you know, I think as we've determined on here, nobody really likes ground combat all that much. My powers fucking suck, though. Like, they do, like, barely anything at this stage. It's like... Where's, like, my... Where's, like, my hypospray thing? Where it's, like, the... Oh, goddamn! <laughs> little fly. But it is over! <laughs> Glorious! Well, I remember this day. God, what is going on? I don't... I don't even remember these missions. It's been so long. <laughs> I feel like the new missions people could have made themselves using Foundry. Yeah, so... Um, I do have some dislike of, um, certain old missions. Uh, often on here I talk about how much I hate the vault. Um, I don't hate the task force that much. But, uh, the fucking... Oh, God. But in terms of the, um, like... The original vault mission, I get very annoyed with it. Like, I like the concept, but I, I just feel like it needs a, another pass, if that makes sense. Um, but like, <laughs> but yeah, I, I miss the foundry. Um, I had some like, I had some like really good foundry missions that I never actually put out into the, into like the actual like, uh, public server, really. Um, but there, there were some good stories and I miss them. I'm like, Damn, okay. <laughs> Probably the closest I'll ever get to writing for Star Trek. <laughs> Could use a tricorder on them and tell them that they're half human. <laughs> but like 23rd century tricorders, I think we just identify them as Klingons, right? Because like, these were the only Klingons that um, Starfleet was interacting with? <laughs> I don't know. I... Well, the whole transformation thing kind of is still, like, a, a weird concept to me, and sometimes I hate it. Fuck. We're getting bombarded! <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not doing too bad this fight. I, I haven't died in like a good solid couple of missions, so. Then at the end, game, you have no shields at all. Literally, that last, that last um, mission, I'm like, this has tested me. I feel like a mission this early should not be this hard, but whatever. This one's easy though. It's like the new mission is like three patrols in space oh my god i literally literally hate um patrols so much i whenever the mission is an actual patrol i literally like i literally like crave the sweet release of death and i'm just in there like literally not even trying and just dying multiple times because i just like cannot cannot be bothered <laughs> And yeah, I guess you're right, like, there aren't really a lot of unique maps anymore. We need a new Trek game. <laughs> okay, I won't disagree. I do love me some Star Trek Online, especially because I, like, have put so much investment in it at this point. Like, I haven't spent, like, a ton of money on this account, but enough that I would be very mad if I ever, had, like, had to start from scratch. Um, and I still have, I still have the first character I made. I've actually played her a lot of times on stream here, because I kind of, like, played exclusively her for a long time and then I kind of got more into the Klingon thing when I was younger I hated the Klingon storyline so I refused to play it but now it's like okay I can appreciate it mostly because I got bored with playing the Federation so many times over and over again but yeah I 
Listen, the only mobile game that, like, I actually want to play is, like, things that, you know, I want to play on a mobile game. You know, like, fuck. God, okay. Like, I don't want to play a Star Trek game on a mobile game. Like, <laughs> if I'm playing a mobile game, it's gonna be something fucking stupid. Like, I don't know, like, just like random Disney puzzles or something. Those are kind of fun. But like, Star Trek, it's like, look, I need, I need a real game, you know? <laughs> We're gonna fucking die again. This is fine. I don't even care anymore. Yeah, okay. Kill me. You still haven't done the Klingon storyline? <sighs> to be fair, like, I did- it took me- I didn't play the Klingon storyline, um, until 2020. So it took me, what, eight years of the game? But then again, I didn't play, like, consistently, consistently for those, like, eight years, I gotta say. Your ship was destroyed in combat while protecting the retreat of Admiral Garrett's force. Well, now we're dead. Your sacrifice allowed Garrett to warn Starfleet about Klingon cloaking tech. But your ship was lost to all hands. At least, that's what's in the history books. I brought you and the crew members I could save to the early 25th century. You're being recruited as a temporal agent. Since you're dead, we're giving you a new identity. We have a speed training and reacclimation process that will help you to fit in. Bruh. I know this is a bit unusual, but you'll get used to it. Believe I hate it. I say it's better than the alternative. <laughs> yeah, because we could just be fucking dead. Just like looking around like, the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Literally. That's fine. At least we didn't have to sit in that fight longer. <laughs> basically showing you there will never be peace. Yeah, I guess basically. Where are we? Is this Earth Space Dock? Am I just in a weird place on Earth Space Dock? Oh, now we get our first um, officer that's like... Hold on, how many do I have? I probably should get another, another engineer. Yeah. Not now. Welcome to Earth Space Dock. Busy day on the holodeck, sir? I love dressing up <laughs> as a historical holodeck, too. My Harry Mud costume took first prize last night. <gasps> I love dressing up for those historical holodecks, too. So Imagine. The Admiral can be a stickler for that sort of detail, after all. Bruh. <laughs> I'm literally dead. So you might want to update your uniform. This is so funny to me. This is literally so funny to me. Like, I don't know how much this has been updated since I since I last played it. Because my I last played that character probably like two or three years ago. Um. So. Yeah. Should I change it? Uh, I probably should, like, I'll just create a new one. Mm, we can keep them in their thing. Do I think of bullions? My mind goes to the one with the white shirt. <laughs> okay, to be fair, Shell is pretty iconic. Um, I'm also going to refill my um hydration vessel. Hydration vessel. <laughs> Why am I having such a hard time speaking today? This is terrible. And then, like go check on my puppy behind me um i think she's fine but um yeah like a short break but wait hold on uh you play other games as well oh yeah i play other games but um usually no one watches me play other games uh so i kind of have been sticking to uh star trek recently um so i've been playing um 
I, I played the Witcher trilogy. Um, well, I haven't finished Witcher 3. I'm on Witcher 3. I've been playing that occasionally, but I haven't played that in like a few weeks on stream because just like no one watches. So I'm like, okay, what's, what's even the point then? Um, and then I've also been doing like, um, doing like a retro day every week. So I've been playing, um, like, I've been playing like Voyager Elite Force recently and I'm probably going to play, um, uh, another one as soon as I can get some more files or we might play um, I have one that's a Deep Space Nine era game called The Fallen that's kind of cursed that I might play kept getting killed by the wolf so I quit <laughs> The Witcher 3 is like iconic though and I really I want to stick it out and finish it but um, yeah it's not a good game for the completionist in me because there's literally no fucking way you can do every single thing in that game and it's getting to the point where it's like it's, yeah, it, it's become, like, stressful for me to play sometimes. So I took a little break. I played earlier this week a little bit. Um, but, yeah, we'll see if I stream it again in the future. Um, but I, I probably will at some point because it's one of my, like, main games generally. Um, and I'm, like, a huge uh, <laughs> Geralt fan. Took three to four months solid playing to do it all. I believe it. Um, I think it's going to take me a lot longer than that because I don't play it all the time. I play too much Star Trek Online and other things. I also play Dead by Daylight pretty frequently with friends and stuff. Um, but um, right now, uh, my, <laughs> my uh, shall we say, um, little demon friend that lives inside me is, <laughs> is um, playing Dead by Daylight um, on this channel as well. Um, you can see some of my, like, uh, past VODs if you'd like to see him in action. <laughs> He's so cursed, but I love him. Anyway, um, yeah, I also really love just The Witcher, like, storyline in general. I'm reading the books, too. Um, I haven't been reading that much recently because my, uh, <laughs> my dog has been taking all my time because she's still been, like, adjusting to her new home and everything. Um, but yeah, I... I mostly, like, only played Star Trek Online for a while. I I used to... I started on Twitch playing a lot of Wizard 101 and then was... Ended up being, like, too broke to keep spending that kind of money every month on that game. Um, because it was also taking me way too long to get through. Like, it was so cursed. I kept dying, like, on everything. And then I didn't have a solid enough team to get through stuff. Um, but yeah. Um... Anyway, I'm going to take that break now and refill my water so I can stay hydrated because that's important. But I will be right back and then we'll have a little cursed Taylor time for just a second. <laughs>
I'm back. <laughs> Nova was demanding some attention, so she's gonna sit with me here while we have some um, cursed Taylor moments. <laughs> I've been playing Avorion for STO Combat. What? <laughs> I'm so confused about what's happening here, but that's fine. Alright, let's make a new outfit. Miss Nova. <laughs> She's so mad at me. She's still mad at me today because, um... I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but, uh, she's still mad at me because, uh, <laughs> because, uh, she, she basically, um, like, <laughs> ate a tennis ball today. Um, ooh, that could be fun. Fun. Kinda cute, kinda fun. Anyway. But anyway, um, it was like a tennis ball thing on a rope, so I had to take it from her. Um, and so I gave her back the rope, and she didn't like that it didn't have the tennis ball anymore. I'm like, well, you ate it, so... <laughs> okay, what was I doing? I was gonna... You know what? I want something different than the Odyssey uniforms. Like, I always just do the Odyssey uniform, and they're kind of basic. So let's go with, like, something fun. Probably a little darker blue, though, because the blues are darker here. Maybe some nice white and gray. I think I put the wrong part. White. Why am I losing, like, entirely all detail? Like, cursed? That's a fine gray. There we go. That's that's a better look. I want something like lighter than just like a whole the solid black. Let's get a better skirt. I can give her a skirt, but Yes, I know Nova. You can't get on the desk. <laughs> Hmm, I think this one matches. My cat tried to run off with my tofu dogs before. <laughs> like the, um, like plush tofu? <laughs> or like what? <laughs> oh, wrong thing. Oh, food? <laughs> I was over here and I was like, what is, like, what are you talking about, tofu dogs? I thought you were talking about, like, the, I don't know, like, the one, like, character thing that's, like, a dog, but it's, like, <laughs> but it's, like, um, I don't know, like, the squishy thing, and they're, like, they look like food, but it's, like, a plush. I don't know. <laughs> that's so funny. <sighs> I mean, luckily, she does not seem to have a ton of interest in, like, food, um, but, hold on, do I want that? Eh, yeah, that, that's a fine color. That's fine. Okay. So we'll keep the stockings and then give her some different boots, probably. Yeah, nice white boots. There we go. Nice, nice. And we'll just keep the rest. Or is there something fun? Oh, that's just the pouch thing. No, we don't need a belt. We could be basic. Oh, but she doesn't have a com badge. What am I doing? Rank. Way too many badge options. 
way too many. All right, Nova's Nova's sitting off in her chair now. <laughs> but yeah, she's so funny because she um she doesn't really have like a huge interest in um oh that's too light. She doesn't really have a huge interest in like um uh, food really because like she'll I'll, she'll like get all excited when I bring like home takeout or something. But then she'll, like, not want any of it if I offer any of it to her. <laughs> Orions and aliens have the best customization options. Yeah, most of my characters are aliens, but um, you don't really have that option so much um, in this. Leave burger on a plate and see if it stays there. <laughs> um, well... Uh, she, she does, like, the one thing that she will eat is, like, meat, but I don't consume a lot of meat. Um, I actually can't eat pretty much any of the meat that she likes, so she's only really had it from, like, um, when my parents, uh, came to visit and had some meat, and, um, like, my partner also, like, has, like, like, loves meat. So, um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go see him today, and he'll probably feed her. Um, but yeah, she generally, like... Oh no, I'm not vegan. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Don't don't get it confused. <laughs> I'm I'm a pescatarian, so I eat like fish and stuff still and like seafood. Um, but I I just don't eat uh like I just don't eat like normal meat, I guess. Uh my body doesn't like it, so I choose not to like um I choose not to like make it mad by yeah. I think I think she's more of a pants person. Not those pants. Ooh, that's a nice look. Yeah, that's a look. That's a look. And com badge. I've never seen a dog eat a fish before. Um, I mean, some dogs will eat, like, literally anything. Um, I also, I also don't even, like, eat a lot of fish. I do eat, I do eat, like, mostly vegetarian, so, um, yeah, but she, she won't eat, like, uh, like, the only thing that she's really, like, enjoyed eating, like, of human food, which, this is fine, because I'm trying not to train her to, like, um, like, jump at, all the human food and stuff, um, if that makes sense. Oh, actually, I guess that her um, color would be different in these times, wouldn't it? She'd be red, not yellow, because she's tactical. Anyway, um, so, like, like I was saying, though, it's like she kind of, um, like, I'm not mad that she doesn't, like, try to eat my food right off, like, right off of my plate. <laughs> But like at the same time, it's like if I'm offering to share, like I feel like I feel bad. She like doesn't. Um... Oh, that's a look. I feel bad like she doesn't um like want to eat anything. Like she ate. The only thing that she's really like eaten from me is like a sweet potato fry, and I don't even think she likes that that much. Um, but yeah, I've like brought her home like normal fries. She hasn't eaten them. Um, yeah. <laughs> Which is weird, because a lot of dogs do like fries. Oh, she can have a skirt, I guess. I spend way too much time in the tailor <laughs> consistently. <laughs> Cursed. That's too white. There we go. Cool. 
Pumen, this food isn't suitable for doggo consumption. I mean, I feel like that's really what's going through her head sometimes, but, you know, it's like, okay, be weird then. Don't, don't get fed. Most people spend most of their time in the tailor in this game. I mean, generally I don't do it a lot on stream, but right now it's like, look, it's the time. We're going through a transition. You know? Like... People would think it was the ships, but it's the outfit. I, look, you're not wrong. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm really not. Because, like, look, the reasons I play this game make my whole bridge crew look snazzy. Well, that's the thing, too, is, like, <laughs> it, it makes the suffering better. It's fine. By suffering, I mean, like, the, uh, like, every, just everything in general we have to go through in this game, you know? You know what I mean. It's too dark. There we go. Now it matches. I hate how, like, the light is just, like, too bright, too. Like, what's going on here? Like, is it... Is this something with my graphics card just literally, like, hating me or something? Because this is cursed. <laughs> Dying in style. Hold on. Why is she, why is she 6'10"? Our... Could be the lighting 2.0 setting. Is lighting 2.0, like, bad? Um... I don't know, hold on. I'm confused a little bit at what's going on here, but... This is what? It's a Tellerite? Are Tellerites that tall? How tall? Right. Yeah, I don't- why is she 6'10? <laughs> New Romulus lighting? Oh god, that's so cursed. It's like a tall Ferengi, they don't exist. I thought they were like, okay, literally it says average male height, five foot four to five foot 11. Oh wait. Wait, are they a little bit taller then? Weird. I mean, that's a little better, I guess. It's just, like, the highlights are so... The highlights are too much. Um, why, though? Like, hold on. What's going on here? Why is... Is something glitching out? Why, why are my options... Why is my, like, smallest option 5'11"? And I'm seven feet tall. You know, you know what? She's gonna be 5'11", because I'm- I'm not having this today. <laughs> like, this is too weird. I'm like, nah. Cause what's he? He's a... Bro, wait, why is he 6'1"? <laughs> Tell her right! <laughs> is this game on crack? <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> I- I'm going to embrace this. <laughs> I do not care. You give us the tools, you can end up with this cursed shit in your game. Okay, anyway. Alright, you know- you know what? Okay, that's enough, Taylor. <laughs> I can't. I can't with this today. Okay. Let me fix my posture. How short can human go? Oh, wait, I didn't check that. <laughs> I don't know, I think my captain is 5'11". I just kept her the kind of the default. But this is a good question. For research. For research purposes. 5'6"! <laughs> and our max is 6'4". 
That's a much smaller range, though. I like I like most of my like badass captains to be about five eleven. That's discrimination. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's just cowardice to not let us make giant humans. Though then again, you can make giant aliens and basically make whatever whatever you want. So like you know maybe not the worst thing. But listen, like um, what's also like just pure cowardice on the part of the dev team is not letting us make like um is not making us not letting us make characters that are like actually fat like <laughs> it's like hello um but, like at one point i couldn't even make a character that was like my size i like tested it and i was like like look i'm i'm like not even like that big but like i'm not thin and i can't make a character that is my body size because this game is like <laughs> no no fat people allowed. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to the 25th century. We've been expecting you. And yet the Your aliens can be like larger. Admiral Quinn's like in the office behind me. Report to him. Like um like the Tellerites is like they're like not tell I, I thought they were like shorter and like kind of like chunky, you know? I don't know. Is to observe and correct. Okay. Not to interfere. All right. We don't interfere. I got it. This is fine. I've recommended you for a command position on board a ship of the line. There are several fine ships available. Oh, hi, welcome. Your call. Head to the shipyard to select your new ship, then return to me. So now we're on. Oh yeah, we're on the exact same, exact same path as the Federation. Boring. Would need that black desert character creator. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that's a reference to, but look. <laughs> Ship vendor. There we go. All right. So we are. Oh, we do have, there's the filters. Okay. So it's already filtered for us. Okay. Do we want a science vessel, the cruiser refit or the escort refit? The escort's kind of cute though. Listen. But right now I have two engineers and not two um, not too tactical officer. So I think I'll get an escort later. Where am I? Where have I gone? Okay. There we go. Yeah, well, let's let's get one of these basic boys at first. The MMO Black Desert Online has the most versatile character creator. Oh, okay. I don't even know what that game is cuz I'm a noob. But anyway, we're going to get a cruiser even though they kind of suck. Um right now this is probably going to be the best option for me. I'll get an escort next time after I have like a better crew lineup, I guess. Oh, I guess I do have two tactical. Oops. <laughs> no, oh yeah, no, because I was going to add... This is... Okay, this is what I thought. Because I was going to add this one that I need when I get another slot. Damn it. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Should have got the escort, but this is fine. <laughs> It'll it'll fit our twenty third century fee theme. I keep I keep like clicking the wrong options like a lot I recently. A fine ship with a top -notch it's fine. We can run into battle with like all of our weapons. Like you know. Oh wait, we didn't switch our ship. I didn't switch my ship. We have a diplomatic mission for you. 
An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his. Hold on, is this the next? Oh, okay. I didn't switch my fucking ship. I'm literally all over the place today. It's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So we have Karis's. Is... Listen. Do I need to name, rename my ship? Is it too late to rename it? Ugh, damn it. Ugh, I hate the name. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I don't really care that much about my ship names anyway. So, anyway. Okay, so we can have more engineering consoles. Right now, I think we're okay with our loadout. I don't think we can do much better at this point. We can, however, move my batteries into the ship. This is... Okay, I guess we have a couple things we can add here. I don't need a common deflector. Really don't need a common warp core or any of this other shit. <laughs> Just get rid of it all. My phaser banks are probably better at this point. Oh, but we do want that. That is a much better torpedo launcher. And then we can also replace this beam. Anything's better than the fucking standard issue build. <laughs> okay. Anyway. It literally looks like the 23rd century ship we were just in. <laughs> it's, it's like, wow. It's been, what, like 200 years and like the designs are still not like that much different. <laughs> Love that for us. I mean, we still can't we really can't do much of anything, um, besides, like, play the story at this point. Yeah, I, I like to get all the base ones done first. Let's go. Okay. Upgrade our personal shields expert. The Klingon ships just get rustier. You are correct. <laughs> Oh wait, actually we can do we can do TFOs now. Isn't this cursed? I feel like there's no point in doing like TFO stuff early on. And we're still we have a com badge and we're still using our fucking 23rd century communicator. This is so funny to me. <laughs> Shouldn't be, but it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, we gotta, there we go. Okay. All right, to the Vulcan system. At least this is not that far away because I still think we have Nope, we don't have slipstream. But yeah, look look at our new sexy little ship. It's less stubby than our other one. It literally, like, <laughs> the design looks no different, which is why I think this is so funny. Next time I'm definitely getting an escort, though, because this is like... Oh, I didn't set up my stations. That could... That could get us into some real shit later. Um, let's try the spread on this one. A little different. Um, I really want him... I thought I had another bridge officer slot, but not, so I guess that's empty for now. But it's fine. We'll get one eventually. Okay. Enter Vulcan system.
Greetings. Okay. Thank you for agreeing to escort the ambassador to Pajama. Ambassadors, I believe okay. that Sotep would be much more comfortable. All right, board shuttle. Let's go. Nice. Starfleet shuttlecraft. This is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are clear to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. Where? <laughs> Press the wrong key, it just starts going sideways. Dead. All right, this is fine. This is fine. Captain, I regret to inform you that we have come to an impasse in completing your mission. Allow me to explain. As you know, Pajem is sacred to the Vulcan people and access hmm. to it is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin, the leader of the order that maintains the monastery, has chosen this moment to... The ambassador has considered going to the council to request that they overrule Savin, but the process will take time, for he simply does... The ambassador, I'm afraid, has spent too much time off-world. I hmm. have seen it change him. His interactions with other species have grown... So we have to do the dirty work. Of course. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Many years ago, the gem was used for political purposes. Technology used to spy on the Andorians was... Do you seek knowledge okay. of the ancestors? Hmm. Sarkef accuses me of abandoning logic. But he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to the gem. Hmm, well, that's a little suspicious, you know. Of the ancestors. I would okay. Think that if you will pledge to me on your honor as a Starfleet officer that you will protect Pajem okay. from harm. Did you finish the Klingon storyline? The, um, like the, um, like KDF character? Because no, I am not done with it yet. Vulcan. Do you have any questions? How should I know? He is a small well. man with small. Alrighty then. Should I just continue with the Romulan one? I mean, yeah, I'm going to, but um, I'm not gonna be like online too long today, so might as well just continue on this character for now. There we go. Okay. Wrong way. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> this is basically the Federation one all over again. Yep, I know. But I don't remember this mission, so I feel like... It might as well. Might as well. Also, I just... I'm not in the mood for anything new now. I don't want to, like, switch characters and then get too invested in it and then be on here another hour when I have to do other things. <laughs> I wonder if the shuttle is still bugged? What do you mean, still bugged? What? <laughs> I don't remember this. <laughs> oh, well. We have lost your flight it might have been a little tiny for considering how big that interior was, but it looked like it was, I don't know, normal. Cause yeah, this is like a big ass shuttle inside. I don't know what. The size of a Hot Wheel dead. <sighs> so now we gotta go to Pajem. <laughs> that thing's no shuttle. I mean, I think it's, I think it's um inspired by. I think it's inspired by like the runabout interior, and the runabouts are like significantly longer than a shuttle.
All right. All right, let's go. Ship is bigger on the inside. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Imagine, like, what's going through, like, this character's head, though. Like, do they not address the fact that literally, like, this would be so fucking weird to our, to our character coming from the 23rd century? Like, just, like, comes, like, just rolls up and, like, the Klingons are, like, <laughs> like, I get that they have, like, a training, but, like, you can't really, like, entirely prepare yourself for seeing a Klingon that looks so different than the ones you're used to, you know? <laughs> yeah, and flying a ship that's not from your center, that's the thing, is like, yeah, there'd be training, but still, like, are we not going to, like, have a section that kind of acknowledges how weird this is like look give us more character development for ourselves it's literally like the same shit you know as the federation one interesting Like, how do they know all this information on the Undine? Like, they're the ones from the 23rd century with us. This doesn't make fucking sense at all. You literally get smuggled onto the space dock. Literally, like... And the... But the mission dialogue is all the same. Like, it wouldn't be too much work to, like, change, like, our options a little bit. I don't know. I just feel like... For as good as the, like, initial, um... As good as, like, the initial, um, like, 23rd century, like, arc is, they get so lazy with it after. Like, we never hear about it again. Alright, let's go. Okay, but look at, look at how cursed this is. Like, he doesn't look like he's 6'2". Like, she, okay, to be fair, we made her, like, 6'10", but, like, still, like, why, he's so much shorter than, like, these two are, like, also 5'11". Like, this makes no sense. Literally. <laughs> like, fix the Tellarites. <laughs> Alright, now we're fighting Klingons with our 23rd century guns. <laughs> oh, I should... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Bruh, what is going on? Literally, what is going on? Like, she's not the height she's supposed to be either. Like, why is it showing 6'10? Like, <laughs> they're both shorter than me. My character's 5'11. We know that my character's 5'11. Taylor, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, literally, this is the the worst thing. What's in the crate? Mmm, supplies. That's the thing, too. It's like... Nothing about this makes any sense, honestly. Whew. Hey, what's that? Yo. Just random crates with supplies in them. Okay, cling on hard milk. Cool. Because <laughs> that makes sense at a Vulcan monastery. I don't know, maybe Vulcans like targ milk too.
I don't want the fucking lockbox. <sighs> oh, we gotta go further up. Not there yet. Oh my god. Alrighty. Nope. Incoming message. There we go. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Skoltek. They have determined that uh -oh. he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains, you need to be very careful. This imposter was able to cool some of them. Uh oh. Well, time to go on a little search party. Guess we should have listened to the Klingons. Imagine that. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. He's so creepy. Like Abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. So we have to worry about the changelings and the undine. Like, just, you know, infiltrating Starfleet. Like, imagine this too. Like, imagine, like, what it would be like for someone in the, um, like, 23rd century mindset and everything to learn about the fucking undine and changelings. Like, to learn about the Dominion War in general. Like, that would be so wild. Why is he still standing? All right. Still using our vintage technology, because this makes sense. I thought I was gonna shoot that down. Mmm, <laughs> torpedo spread. Yee. That did that didn't do shit. <laughs> and we can also do weapons upgrade. Nice. Okay. I wouldn't leave her if I showed up in the middle of all that. Literally, like, I'd just be over here like, do I have to join Starfleet? Can I just, like, retire? Like, peace out? Fuck. God damn it. Take me to the planet where all those kids were kidnapped to in TNG. <laughs> God, literally. <laughs> it's like, literally like, it's just like this, this entire thing is just like, I don't, there's so many like plot holes in how everything happened, you know? I don't know. literally just a frigate and it's literally beating our asses.
All right, come on. God, no! Ugh. Fuck. We keep getting hit with the torpedoes, because, like, I can't stop them fast enough. We need another torpedo spread, like, soon. I'm gonna fucking die. It's fine. Oh yeah, that. I didn't even see that one. Until it was too close to do anything. Well, fuck. He just really has it out for us. Nice. Actually, actually destroyed that one. That would have actually killed me. Who will die first? <laughs> oh. Fuck. I almost had it. I almost had it. <laughs> that plasma torpedo, though. I can't. <laughs> Oh my. It's fine, it's fine. Alright. Well, I guess they killed it for us. It's fine. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. Alright. Fun. Okay, that was <laughs> that was a nice little easy mission to finish us off, I think, because I think it's done. Yeah, it's done. So, all right, that. The ambassador yeah. and Undine. I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Okay, so. Well, and I guess we have an engineer already. I just want another bridge officer slot. Um, I received a report. There is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving early. Okay, well, I'll deal with this later, I guess. Um, we also have to go get our stuff at Starfleet Academy. Probably not going to finish this today, but anyway. Um... <laughs> Thank you all for joining me on our little 23rd century adventure. Um, yeah, you know, good times. Next time I'll probably play my Romulan or Klingon um, something different because I'm real tired of Federation storyline at this point. Like, I didn't think it was possible, but I finally reached the point where I can't do it anymore. I mean, even like, because at this point it's like I played like pretty much everything that's been updated. I played almost all the new stuff. Um, oh, but I might play... Unless I end up playing, like, the new, um, episode on my Federation, because those are my only, like, maxed ones now. Um, they're actually, like, caught up at that point in the story, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, you can follow my Twitter for my schedule or join my Discord. I think someone new did join my Discord today, so... Every, literally every time... <laughs> every single time, like... I complain about Star Trek Online Mission, I feel like you bring up Star Wars and the thing, it's like, look, but the problem is, the problem is though, it's like, I am not interested enough in Star Wars to, like, play a Star, a Star Wars MMO. Like, I can respect that the story is probably pretty good. I mean, it's probably a hell of a lot better than Episode 9, if you know what I'm saying, but, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, again, thank you for joining me, um, Remember, uh, we're, we're trying to hit the 15-point sub-goal, um, kind of got set back a little bit this past month, and yeah, um, then we'll get a new emote, and it'll be Jolly Devil themed. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will be back tomorrow for, um, a virtual Voyager run. I'm gonna look up, like, all the stuff you're gonna collect, and I'm gonna try to collect it all in a single stream. Don't know if we'll make it, but, I don't know, I feel like... Um, Virtual Voyager is designed to be completed in like a few hours, so I think we can do it. I think we can, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me once again. I've said that like four times right now. And yeah, I will see you later.